Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. Today we are playing with one of our simplest little toys, a Jacob's Ladder. And I just wanted to take a minute and share this with you guys and show you how it works and the basics of a Jacob's Ladder because it's a really simple thing that a lot of people get really confused about. So here's the basics of it. It's, it's, there's not a lot to one of these. You have a power supply down here. This is a standard, uh, it's like a, it's a furnace ignition transformer. It's got 120 volts in and it runs on 175 VA, 6,000 volts out, so it's not very high voltage as far as high voltage goes. And it just feeds the high voltage up to here. This is grounded, that's about it. There, we did a little starter thing, I'm gonna, before I go touch anything, I'm here, I'll unplug that. We did a little starter thing up here with a couple resistors that are hooked up to the center pin and that's like a, an initiator because getting a Jacob's Ladder to start can be kind of tricky. But there really isn't a whole lot to it. The way it works is you create a spark down here between two rails and the spark is hot. It heats the air around the spark and that air rises so it causes the spark to go up. And there's really no limit to how high you can get Jacob's Ladder to go. The way it works is as the spark goes up the tracks get a little bit wider and then we have a little bit of a horn up here at the top and the idea is to pull it far enough apart that it can't maintain the arc anymore. It's the voltage that starts the arc, but it's the current that maintains it. And the more current you have, the faster your Jacob's Ladder will go up and the longer an arc you can get. You can still use 6,000 volts on your Jacob's Ladder, like we've got pole pigs that are only 8,200 volts. But with a pole pig you could pull this out like this far because it's got the current to maintain the arc. So the, the voltage really isn't that big a deal. Any kind of furnace ignition transformer, or uh, I've seen guys doing with bug zappers. I mean, it's really easy stuff. So here's some basics of it. We'll fire it up. Now this is gonna mess up my microphone. The sound's gonna get kind of weird. You won't hear me talk, but I talk enough. So let's just make some arcs and show it work. Flip the switch on. Now you can hear it's bristling with high voltage. So at this point, this is dangerous to touch. It will bite you. So we have the drumstick of science that I can use to initiate it in there. And you can see, as soon as the arc forms, it heads up. Now it'll only make one arc at a time, and the arc's gonna get created, climb, and once the arc breaks up here, it almost immediately forms a new one down here. So it just, it's, it's always climbing. You'll never get more than one arc, that, that can't happen. Once the arc has jumped across, that's created a short, and that's the path of least resistance, and there isn't enough power to make another arc. It just wouldn't work that way. If you tripled the power, you'd just still get one arc three times as hot. So, there you go. And that's the basics of a Jacob's Ladder. You guys can make these at home. I encourage you to do so. They're a fun time. They are dangerous. This will kill you. The odds on getting killed with this one, with the weedly little transformer, pretty slim, but it hurts like heartbreak. And that's why these are really good for young kids that are just starting to experiment with high voltage before they get into stuff like Tesla coils and things like that where they are very dangerous. Jacob's ladders are really, really safe as, as far as high voltage in the home goes. Um, I don't recommend making them with things like microwave oven transformers and other non-current limited things. Stick with furnace ignition transformers, they're by far the safest. Um, if you can't get that, neon sign transformers work great. But it's simple, it's safe, it's fun, it's the kind of thing that if you get bit with this, it probably won't kill you, um, but it will absolutely hurt really, really bad. So it's, it's a good thing to learn lessons on. I, I started building these when I was a kid, like 12 years old, and I still make them today. I did not make this one. In fact, I have no idea who did. One of our members made it. It's nice, it's pretty, it's simple. We use it all the time, but I have no idea who made it. So yeah, that's the basics of Jacob's Lighters. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. We'll have more for you next time. I'm gonna make some arcs.